My name is Tim Baldwin. I live in uh, on 10312 Little <laughs> Pond Drive. Okay. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what uh, what you do well, with your days? Tell us a little bit about, about yourself. Well, um, I'm a complicated person, actually. Um, right now, I don't have a job, so I'm kind of, you know, got a lot of things on my mind. Like, um, I thought I could sell myself for sex or something like that, you know. I, I in fact, <clears throat> I, I let that be known, actually, around the neighborhood, but nothing's happened. Um, yes. I was uh, born in Tarrant County, uh, Fort Worth, Texas. I was born during the war, or shortly before the war started, actually. Uh, 1943 it was. I grew up over in uh, southern Illinois in uh, the town of Salem. Salem, Illinois. Salem means peace, by the way. Over 13,000 people in our town. Howard Hughes used to come through our town. It wasn't an event, it wasn't even widely known. But he would stop and stay all night in the Park Hotel on Sunday night. Oh, school was, uh, it was fun, it was easy. Uh, we had usually two classes, uh, like for each grade. We had uh, teachers that were nice. Uh, they did use the paddle, and I did get some weapons. And I, got, I got some lashings too, like with a rope and that kind of stuff. I had lots of girlfriends, um, you know, nothing serious though, you know, nothing like, nothing like uh, love or anything like that. I, I think that was my main pursuit socially was girls. I got some memorabilia uh, back from my parents after they died and I got a little thing in the fifth grade that had me list what my interests were and I had girls up there as a number one. Then I had it repeated, girls, girls, girls. Um, so. I think that that was a big deal for me. My first love was a girl by the name of Laura Rogers. I don't really recall how we started dating. Or I think Laura was one of the few women that I actually asked for a date in my life. Uh, Laura's life uh, became semi-tragic like mine. She wanted to go see the world. Uh, we fell in love. Uh, we were talking about getting married as soon as I got out of high school. I was already planning to go to the University of uh, or Southern Illinois University. And, all this and my parents knew that we were sleeping around together and all that and so they were afraid that um, I was getting too serious too soon and they moved uh, from uh, Carbondale clear out here to Oklahoma to, to break us up really that was the main reason they moved out here. I thought we were going to stay together. I wrote her a letter every day uh, first year that we were apart and I expected just another year you know and I'd be back. Uh, she really wanted somebody that was kind of more like every day, like it had been before. She wanted me around all the time, uh, and uh, she didn't have anything to do when I wasn't there, and she was always feeling left out socially because other people were doing things, and she didn't have a boyfriend anymore. Well, I kind of noticed that somehow through the summer that she wasn't as affectionate as she had been, and she was, um, she was starting to, uh, I mean, we weren't making plans together anymore. But I came to pick her up. Uh, over, she worked at the drugstore. I came to pick her up when she got off work, and I thought we were going to spend the rest of the day together. And she said she broke up with me that day. And I can remember going down the steps, just kind of stunned uh, about the whole thing after she told me, and feeling dizzy. And then I went out to the car and I started the engine up, and I was just getting ready to. Um, back out the driveway and she came out the front door and said, uh, wait, uh, I'd like to kiss you goodbye. And she kissed me goodbye and um, after she walked away from me, for the first time in my life, I think, I lost it. And I remember grabbing a hold of that steering wheel and just shaking and uh, coming apart. I promised myself that someday, you know, I would make something of myself and I would come back for her and she would be sorry. How old were you? I was 16. 